Out of syllabus, I have made line follower bot and facing some issues. I am unable to convert my basic line follower code to PID. So you can give me a little guidance to that. Yeah, I can obviously. Out of syllabus, in your PID line following video description, the download link is not working. Can you please send me that code? Out of syllabus, why the f are you not making videos? Out of syllabus, brother, I just watched your line follower video and that is awesome. Thank you. Can you tell me how I solve this circuit using your line following idea? Piece of sh Out of syllabus, brother, is this possible to build a line follower robot like Taquion manually? Out of syllabus! Okay, okay, okay. I was busy with my other channel and also I faced a major setback because I lost all my videos. As I've told in my previous video too, I lost all the recorded videos. I don't know where I kept them. Don't even know whether they exist or not. And also because of my previous bot, I literally gave up because I was lacking funding. Kind of gave up with the maze fall solving or line following idea because of my bot it was heavy it cannot follow line it is slow so that's why but now i'm back so give thumbs up to this video and let's get started And then this comment opened my eyes. I have the fastest robot from Indonesia. See my video. I will put his video in the description down below. Okay. He didn't show how to make that, but the design was kind of cool. Okay. And also, I followed the previous comment of Thakweon and made another bot. Look at this. This is my new bot. Okay. And to that question, this thing. Cannot solve shit. You know what I'm talking about. This is heavy, you know. And that's why I made this. This is kind of light board. And well, I still didn't get the motors I need because they are not available in India. You know, I have to import it from Poland itself. So it will cost a lot of money. So a little side by side comparison of the two bots, as you can see. On the right side, this is my new one, and on the left side, it's my old one. So as you can tell, height-wise, both the bots are kind of same. And breadth-wise, my new bot is way too smaller. So like previous videos, I will show how to build this total thing, obviously. But first of all, let's discuss about some of its features, which I lack in the previous version of it. Okay, so as you can see, these are eight sensor array. Okay, I used previously I made my own sensor, six sensors array using uh, it's the PCB. As you can know, you still can see the whole series. It's a very good series. You can learn a lot from it. But the resulting board was not that successful because, well. Whatever I make exceeds in weight limit. You know what I mean? The bottle was heavy and it cannot make sharp turns. It just keeps away from the track as I shown in the last latest video of it where I tuned the PID constants and that was the in-depth video of around 20 minutes. <clears throat> and it has around 3000 or 4000 views, which is awesome. And if you like the board, like the shape of it, I'm in love with the shape of you. Just hit that thumbs up button and if you are new then please consider subscribing because well I show all these things all of us you know so this is the 8 sensor array I used as you can see the LEDs are smaller than before these are 3 millimeter LEDs and previously I used 5 millimeter LED LEDs in my DIY version so it also has these 8 potentiometers through which you can adjust it, it is only usable when you are using the digital pins okay so this thing has this sensor has two sets of output pins 
one are digital outputs one are analog outputs so firstly i use digital outputs then i switch to analog because of obvious reasons i will show everything in upcoming videos so i don't want to make this video long because whatever i make becomes long as sh nobody watches no who watches video bigger than 10 minutes you know i will try to make this video as short as possible okay so the next thing comes in play is these batteries okay these are same lithium ion cells i used which are salvaged from you know an old laptop and obviously you can find the videos in my channel itself you just have to go to videos and then search for the video how to get cheap lithium ion cells it's less than a dollar you can get anything or even even you can get them free Okay, so <clears throat> previously I used a holder. Previously I used a holder for this batteries in this bot. So also three cells from my 12 volt motors. The three cells will result in 11.1 volts nominal and 12.6 fully charged. But this time I just fixed the batteries themselves here. Okay, with zip ties as you can see. There is a neat wiring going on down there. <clears throat> so I fix them and use this TP4056 modules to charge them as you can see. So this is the fully rechargeable setup whenever you run out of battery which didn't happen from me. I tested this ball for more than 5 or 6 hours continuously but still the batteries didn't drain out. Okay, <clears throat> this battery is only reduced to about 3.7 volts which is their nominal. And these charging modules are pretty safe because you can use them as alternative of BMS or battery management systems because what the feature is a overcharge protection over discharge protection short circuit protection and much more so <clears throat> these are with protection boats and you can find them around 50 rupees you know these are quite cheap in comparison with general purpose BMS okay so that's why I use them but I have used a genius idea to use this as in series because you cannot use these modules in series because you know the ground path is short circuited because ground ground part of the batteries output are shorted with the actual charging ground potential so whenever you connect them in series you are basically short circuiting your batteries which is not good because lithium ion any lithium based cells are quite dangerous they can blow up in your face so this is the second thing and the third thing what is the third thing the third thing is this motor controller as you can see this is l293d no i previously used l293d <coughs> which is okay so it obviously works with my previous bot but this time i used l298n these are beefed up version of that okay so basically what it supports is a higher current okay but still i have no motors to use with it correctly because these are the fourth feature what i will say as you can see these are tiny motors right there as you can see these are micro geared motors from polulu obviously these are not from polulu and that's the most pain my after an intense research of around one day I cannot figure out the original motors. So I ordered these motors which are cheap knockoffs. I will not say they are cheap. They are 314 rupees each. So by no way they are cheap. But they are knockoffs because they support a stall current of around 0.6 amps. <clears throat> and what I needed is Polulu high power motors which are rated for a stall current of around 1.6 amps. And also I needed 1000 RPM motors but they give me 600 and I believe they are 500 though. And the fifth feature are these wheels which I will say not a feature because I could be made that better. I cut my finger for this for making these wheels but they are still kind of wobbly as you can see. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's still wobbly. wobbly. See, so much wobbly, dude. Piece of hey, the light is detecting by the infrared sensors. 
pi idea algorithm kicks in the left is a little bit less wobbly i would say but the right is holy f and that's why i again will design a 3d wheel but still i have no print printer to print it but in my next video i'll design maybe the 3d wheels for it and upload the stl files in the description and for the tires this time previously you know i have used balloons you know balloons and this time i bought cricket bat grippers as you can see they serves their purpose a little bit but my wheels are a little bit shorter from them but still it provides that much traction what i need so these are kind of cool features of my new bot hope you like this video and like the shape of this bot i'm in love with the shape of you if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up thumbs down for the opposite and do share and subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell icon to get updated about my latest videos obviously i will show how to make this bot in my next video or maybe I will just don't talk and just run a time lapse in the background and the steps how I made it. Okay, for the time, take care, happy tweaking, happy coding, and this is Malari Bochi, I will syllabus, and for today I am signing off. Peace out.